Today we are going to talk about the differences between Marlboro Township and Manalapan Township. Let's get started. They are both in Monmouth County and they pretty much have the same commute time to New York City depending on exactly where you live. And they are both really great places to call home and they're even located right next to each other. While both towns share some similarities, they both have some distinct differences that set them apart. So in this video, we'll explore the differences between living in Marlboro, New Jersey versus Manalapan, New Jersey. Again, these towns are very similar, but they also have their differences, or let's just say their own personalities. So if you're thinking of moving to the Monmouth County area and you haven't decided exactly where you wanna live, this video's for you. If you're new to my channel, my name is Corey, and I talk about everything and anything related to Monmouth County and, well, the entire state of New Jersey. Today, I'm just gonna talk about the differences in two specific townships. So if you're thinking of moving to the area, maybe this will help you decide which is the right town for you. The first thing I'm gonna to touch on is real estate. Makes sense being that I've been selling real estate here in New Jersey for 20 years. I know, I don't look old enough to be doing this for 20 years. The real estate between the two towns is a little bit different. Marlboro is going to be more expensive. In fact, housing costs are 20.4% more expensive than in Manalapan. Both towns do offer a variety of housing options, such as single family homes, town homes, condos, apartments, and adult communities. However, the median home price in Marlboro is slightly higher than the median home price in Manalapan. With homes averaging around $510,000 compared to Manalapan's $460,000, prices in Marlboro Township can go all the way up. In fact, right now, there's a house listed in Marlboro for $4.8 million. In Manalapan, you can probably find a single family home priced in the high 400s, or actually maybe the 500s, real estate prices here have been crazy these past few years. But chances are in that price range, a home may be in an older neighborhood and may need some updating. But there are other neighborhoods in Manalapan where yes, you also can look to spend way up into the $2 million price range. When it comes time to the actual sizes of both of these towns, you can't believe how similar they really are in size. Marlboro Township is 30.44 miles squared, while Manalapan Township is 30.84 miles squared. Something to consider, if you want more land, the lot sizes are usually bigger in Marlboro Township. Let's touch a bit on the demographics. Manalapan currently has a population of approximately 39,596 residents, compared to Marlboro that currently has a population of 40,191 residents. Let's move on and talk about the amenities that each place has to offer. Keep in mind, these towns are located directly next to each other. So if there's something you can't find in one town, you can just head over to the other and I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Marlboro and Manalapan both have plenty of options for shopping and dining. With a wide variety of chain stores, independent shops and restaurants. However, Marlboro has a larger number of shopping centers and a wider variety of restaurants, including many upscale options for dining. In Marlboro, you have Marlboro Commons located on Route 520. It has several stores, including Whole Foods, Ulta, PetSmart, Walgreens, and more. Then right across the way, you have Marlboro Plaza with TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, Kohl's, Staples, Moe's, and more. There are many options for gas stations, although it does seem that Costco located in Marlboro Township 
has become extremely popular for people looking to fill their cars. As far as restaurants here in Marlboro, there are plenty to choose from. And by plenty, I mean over 30 different restaurants located right within the town. You can find anything from burgers to incredible seafood. If you're looking for a nice variety of supermarkets, Marlboro offers that as well. There's a ShopRite, a Whole Foods, Aldi's, the Food Emporium, and a few other little small specialized markets located throughout the area. Now let's talk about Manalapin. Manalapin also has its fair share of shopping. The Manalapin Epicenter opened in 2002 on the corner of Route 9, Southbound, and Sims Drive. There you'll find stores like Wegmans, Target, Marshalls, Home Goods, and the newly opened HomeSense, PC Richards and Son, Turning Point, and more. And right next to that, you'll find Manalapin Commons with Best Buy, Bed Bath & Beyond, PetSmart, Raymore and Flanagan, and Five Below. Gas stations are pretty much located all over Manalapin Township. I mean, I can think of about 10 without even trying. The Costco located in Marlboro is close by as well. When you're looking for supermarkets, there's a Wegmans, a Net Cost, a Trader Joe's, and the Balkan Market, which is a European specialty type supermarket. As far as restaurants, again, there are plenty to choose from in Manalapin. So both towns have their own personalities, their own shopping, and their own restaurants. And if you look closely, they even look a lot alike, which totally makes sense considering the locations. In terms of amenities, both townships offer a wide variety of things, and you'll notice People from Manalapin and Marlboro shop in the same stores and dine at the same restaurants. Let's move on to schools. Both Marlboro and Manalapin have excellent school systems. With high ranking public schools and a variety of private school options. And they are both part of the same high school system, the Freehold Regional High School District. I just put out a video explaining what the Freehold Regional High School District is all about, so you may want to take a look at that one when this video is done. In Marlboro, you have the Early Learning Center offering preschool and pre-kindergarten. There are five elementary schools, two middle schools, and then the students have the option to either attend their home high school, Marlboro High School, or test into one of the other programs offered. You can learn all about that in my other video covering the Freehold Regional High School system. If you take a look at niche.com, you will also see that Marlboro Township has very good school rankings. Manalapin also has very highly rated schools according to niche.com and greatschools.org. Manalapin also has an early learning center where children in pre-K and kindergarten attend school. There are five elementary schools, one school for sixth grade, and one middle school. Manalapin has its own high school, and just like Marlboro, it is also part of the Freehold Regional High School District. Let's talk about commute and transportation. Many people that are moving into the area are commuting into Manhattan for work. So commuting is extremely important. The commute time and transportation options from Marlboro and Manalapin can vary depending on a few different factors, such as mode of transportation. You have the options of the train versus the bus, the time of day you are commuting, and where exactly within the town are you located. Marlboro and Manalapin are both located in Monmouth County and are approximately 40 to 50 miles south of Manhattan, again, depending where exactly within the town you live. From Marlboro, there are several different transportation options to get to Manhattan. Driving, you can take a bus, you can take a train, and there's even carpooling. And yes, people really do carpool. 
Commute time can vary. It's roughly around an hour to slightly longer, depending on what time you leave and what mode of transportation you choose. From Manalapan, the commute time and transportation options are similar to Marlboro. Manalapan is also serviced by buses and trains that run to Manhattan, as well as major highways that connect to New York City. Both towns are closest to the Matawan Aberdeen Station if you're looking to commute by train into Manhattan, and both towns also have a wide variety of bus stops scattered all throughout the area. In general, the commute time from Marlboro and Manalapan into Manhattan can be unpredictable, especially during rush hour, so always be sure you plan ahead. Both towns offer plenty when it comes to sports. They both have very active youth sports programs, as well as middle and high school sports. In fact, Marlboro and Manalapan often compete against each other, and believe me, those are some big, important games. Everybody wants to say they won over the other. Despite their differences, Marlboro and Manalapan both share a strong sense of community and pride in their respective identities. Well-maintained public spaces, highly ranked public schools, and access to major highways and transportation hubs. Overall, while Marlboro and Manalapan are both distinct in their characteristics, both townships offer a wonderful place to live, work, and to raise a family. If you're thinking of moving to the area and you would like additional information or would like a little bit of help, just reach out to me. Just send me an email. We can set up a Zoom or chat. You can call or text and we can work together to start the process to finding you not only the best town to live in, but a home that would be the best for your family. If you found some information in this video useful today, do me a favor, go ahead and smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out videos often all about life here in Monmouth County, living at the Jersey Shore and the Garden State in general. Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.